All right, welcome everyone to the Corsais Open. We are back with another semifinals matchup. This is a matchup in terms of seeding that you would usually uh, really only see in the finals weekend. This is seed six versus seed number five in the loser's bracket. Ram Singh versus Hmm. This is sure to be a good one. Both of these teams have had a tough time getting here. I know Ram Singh played two tiebreakers yesterday in order to get to this bout Hmm as well, dropping down into quarterfinals and having to play their way through another loser's bracket match this weekend, as well as having several players playing at 5 in the morning right now. So this is a tough match for both of these teams. My name is Dio. I'm going to be joined on this cast by Demarsh. How's it going, man? It looks like we're off to kind of a quick start with these teams. We really are, yeah. We're rapidly firing through these um, these these bands here. But yes, it is good to be here. Um, you know, starting off with those Hard Rock and DT3 bands, these are the sort of bands that we expected to see from these two teams. Um, especially that Hard Rock 1 from Ram Singh. They were very clear um, in their matches yesterday that this was not a map that they wanted to play whatsoever. Um, and it's a recurring theme here, so it's getting banned straight away. Yeah, I think uh, I think there's a very clear focus for this Ram Singh team in terms of what they are good at and what they want to play. Uh, that's pretty easily reflected in the band that just came out from hmm as well. Double time three getting banned out there. Uh, Ram Singh with a 3.2, 3.3 million team score on that map yesterday. Looking very, very strong on DT3 in the semifinals pool. In fact, improving their team score from quarterfinals on DT3. So uh, they are not at all getting out scaled. In fact, they're still coming into it. Their skill cap uh, has really yet to be met on that type of map. And uh, that's why that gets banned out. DT2, however, as a next pick, also not surprising whatsoever. Uh, they had 3.5 million team score as an average across two plays for DT2 last week. But... Hmm, also is very good at that BPM specifically. They got 4 million team score the one time that they played it last week. So definitely a force to be reckoned with. If that pick, I think, is a little bit more contested than Double Time 3, which Hmm has been avoiding throughout the tournament. Nomad 1 as a first pick for Hmm. Definitely no surprise there. Nomad 5 is a ban. Also no surprise. Uh, when you see Hard Rock 1 banned out, Nomad 1 is sure to follow. And when you see DT3 banned, DT2 picked... Uh, Nomad 5 as a second ban, I think works quite well for them there. Uh, Hidden 1 also banned out by Ram Singh. It's another one of those awkward aim maps that we've seen so many times throughout the tournament. Lots of wide angle jumps, lots of polygonal aim. Very, very tricky to get correct. Yeah, very, very sort of following on from that hard rock ban. It's mainly those, like you said, polygonal aim, aim patterns and um, just the raw aim mechanical skill that the Ram Singh team seems to be avoiding. Um, whereas, hmm, definitely yeah, more focused on some of the more speedier maps in the pool. Um, Nomad 4 as hmm's second map pick um, should be an interesting map pick. There's a Nomad 6 coming out from Ram Singh. These are very interesting picks. Yeah, Nomad... Mod 6 as a next pick from Ram Singh is a little, a, a little interesting. This is a map that they did play yesterday. Uh, they got 1.85 million team score on the map, and they played it once. Uh, also did play it actually twice yesterday in their matchup. Uh, they got 1.85 million team score and then dropped 1.5 million team score the second time they played it. So... Uh, definitely the potential to match Ramsing on that map, but Ramsing just sort of picking all of the really tapping intensive maps. These teams sort of came to play. They really know exactly what they're doing here. Uh, Nomad 4, very, very strong pick for Hmm. They got 3.3 million team score on it yesterday. DT1, a good pick for Ramsing. They played that yesterday once and got 2.7 million team score. Again, Hmm played it twice. Once they got a higher team score, 2.9 million. Once they got a lower team score, 2.4 million. Uh, and then free mod three is, I, I think, a pretty fantastic pick for him. If you're looking at the head-to-head -head matchup there, they come out on top by over a million team score. So that is a pick that you really just expect him to come out victorious on, uh, regardless of how well Ram Singh is performing on the day. 
So I, I do like the picks that came out from him. I also like these picks from Ram Singh, really just sort of sticking to what has worked for them all throughout the tournament. This team is incredible on the high BPM tapping focused maps, and uh, that's as much as they can focus on right here. They have done so. We're going to get into our first pick, though. Double time two. Uh, map is very finger control focused for what you would expect from a double time two at this stage. Lots of varying lengths on a lot of the bursts. Doubles into quads, into quints, into seven note streams all throughout the map. And then uh, later on, you start getting longer and longer streams worked into those more finger control patterns. So a very, very stamina draining sort of pick. Yeah, it should be a very solid map um, for Ramsing for their first map pick. Um, looking at this, it should be interesting to see what sort of lineups we're expecting to start with here. Of course, we see the uh, Emmerich and White Cat lineup coming straight in for him here. Um, and then you've also got some, some powerhouses in Okinawa and Takito. This is a very scary DT2 lineup actually coming out from him. Um, but Ramsing, they're going to be coming in with Acula Beds and Lever Russian, uh, two very well-known DT players. So they have got some power behind them as well. Uh, we also see Din and Red, Red Pixel coming in as well. To the side of Ram Singh. Yeah. You want to go ahead and point out right before we get started, we are about to close the prediction that's going on in chat. If you do want to vote in that, go ahead and cast your votes right now as to who will win the first set. As a reminder, this is a best of three sets, with each set being a singular best of seven that the teams play against each other. So. Uh, we are playing a whole series of matches rather than a single best of seven between these teams. Uh, once the first best of seven is over, stay tuned. We'll get started with set number two. But yeah, Demarsh, as you were saying, these are these are a lot of players who are very, very well known for their speed, well known for their stamina and finger control. Lever Russian, I think a more recent addition to the tournament scene, really the breakout tournament for him was YSC that happened recently. Red Pixel, Kalibet, and Din all very, very well-known speed players. Uh, and then, of course, on the side of hmm, Emrek, White Cat, Okinamo, and Takedo. Uh, Takedo, a more recent addition to a lot of speed rosters for uh, different teams, but definitely has proved himself as of recent to be a very, very competent speed player. Uh, Okinamo, White Cat, and Emrek, of course, the, don't really need any introductions there. Okinamo's been on the a German OWC team for the longest time as a speed stream player as well as a hidden stream player. And uh, well, if you don't know MRAC and White Cat, I don't know what you're doing in the scene. You should probably go look at the leaderboards for half a second. <laughs> Just for a little bit of time. Um, but we, we have seen a sort of um, this this duo comp between MRAC and White Cat slowly appear in, in pretty much all team tournaments. Um, they seem to want to stick together whenever it comes to a, a tournament like this. Um, and it's another repeat here. And actually we saw our first break come out from Okinamo there. Uh, Red Pixel will follow up with a break of his own. Oh, White Cat coming in. That is a bit of a surprise. He's going to give the combo advantage over to Ramsing here. As Okinamo finds another break. Yeah, trade of breaks for Leverachan and Takedo now as well. So it's just Emrek with the full combo left up for him at the moment. Akolebed and Din holding on to full combos for Ram Singh. Din struggling with the accuracy a little bit. On the A rank FC right now, 92.7% accuracy. Akolebed on 96% act. Uh, so still looking good for him. Emrek actually with the highest act out of the full combos, but. A uh, bit higher accuracy on Lever Russian Red Pixel and White Cat for supporting scores. Uh, Tito dropping another break on that supporting combo is not going to help him pace for a break point here. Uh, so this first pick for Ramsing is going as planned at this point. And they're still holding on to that combo lead. 
and still have the control of this map as we get into now the most difficult section. We see a miss from a bed, and that leaves just Din and Emrek up. Yeah, but they have the support in combos. There goes Takito. And going into the last quarter, they're looking very strong here. On this map, we see White Cat drop for the side of him. They haven't got only the one supporting combo from Okinamo to help Emrak. And there goes Emrak as well. And we do see that break from Din dropping that full combo, but it doesn't matter. Because Lever Russian's still holding a combo for Ramsig. It's just going to push it out of the way for him. So Ramsig secure their first map here. Very confident stuff from them. Yeah, pretty well in control of the map the entire time. They almost always had the score lead from the very start. There were just more frequent breaks coming out of mm, throughout the map. And that's, that's sort of the name of the game when it comes to some of these speed picks. As you get later and later on, your speed specialists start to really pull through for you quite a lot of the time. We saw pretty fantastic scores from Lever Russian and Din on that map for Ram Singh. Lots of good supporting scores as well, Red Pixel and a Kali bed with pretty good supporting scores. Um, and only Emrek really able to match the high scores coming out of Liberation and Din. I should change a little bit here as we go into Nomad 1, very different type of map, this one. Uh, very focused on the aim consistency, couple streams here and there, but really not all that much, this one is almost entirely just the aim focus. Yeah, no mod one. It's fairly standard stuff now. Um, if you've ever seen another tournament, especially of an open rank level, you'll sort of have a good idea of what you can expect from a no mod one. It's very consistent, um, aiming at making sure that those jumps they're wide angled, but they are consistent throughout the map. There's no two. Er There's not many areas where the map spikes in difficulty, um, but it is a very comfortable pick for him. Hmm, you know, it's it's going to be very similar for a lot of the players on this side. They're used to playing maps like this uh, in Score V1. It should be very comfortable for them. Yeah, there shouldn't really be too much that surprises any of these players. Uh, you've got some pretty basic... Uh, Got some pretty basic high spacing jumps, 200 BPM, AR 9.6, OD9. You know, these, these players are going to be well accustomed to it at this point. Emrek, Whitecap, Frankie, and Fiery Rage in for hmm. Uh, Frankie playing at 8.15 AM, Fiery Rage playing at 5.15 AM right now. Uh, Call me Angel Kana, Liv Russian, and Skrull in for Ram Singh. Uh, they are... They've, they've still got a relatively strong team here. Uh, Kali Bez Skrull, I know, very, very strong team players. Angel Kana, uh, also relatively strong in that skill. And clearly Liver Russian in here for a reason. It looks like they have basically the full team at this point for Ram Singh, so that uh, should be a good addition. However, uh, Embrek, White Cat, Frankie, Fiery, all very, very well-known aim consistency players. Uh, Emrek White Cat, of course, number one and number two, respectively, on PP rankings right now. Uh, you should not really be questioning how good their aim is or how consistent their aim is. And uh, <laughs> Frankie has shown, I think, time and time again that he is really, really fantastic at a lot of different aim consistency picks. Uh, underestimating him as a no mod one player is kind of a mistake. Same for Fiery Rage, who is... You know, well known for being relatively slow but good at everything that is not very fast. Yeah, and it's it's just comparing this roster, although double break coming in from Frankie and Fiery Rage. We did see that early break from Squirrel as well. Um, so Ramsey's still gonna be holding the combo lead, but not as much as perhaps they would like. Come on, guys. I was just typing you up. You gotta go and break right at the start of the map. Right after I'm done. Hey, maybe it's a tactic. Maybe it's a tactic. <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise everyone else holding those full combos. Um, of course, Emrak and White Cat still pulling in the work, holding those SS's. Um, should be no issues from them. 
Going forward, but it is up to Ram Singh to keep this momentum going. And there goes a double break for Ram Singh with Akalabed and Angel Kana. Yeah, those are their two out of three full combos. Krell now as well, also dropping the supporting combo. Frankie does trade the drop with Skrull, so it's a uh, relatively even trade, but it's just Liver Russian now up against both Emrek and White Cat. Another drop comes through for a Kalibad as well, the transition from the jumps into that stream. Uh, too much for the aim control. And now you've got, uh, you know, a full combo advantage plus a good supporting combo on Fiery Rage for hmm. So this is a, a, a pretty solid team score coming together for them right now. They need to hold on to this combo lead for a while. Fiery dropping isn't going to help that all that much, uh, but it's not like it does a significant amount of damage. They've still got those two full combos on Emrek and White Cat. You know, those are really the two aim players that you're gonna look to to be super consistent to keep them in this match, as honestly, Frankie and Fiery playing this early in the morning definitely are not going to be playing at their full potential. Luckily for them, Angel Kana, Skrull, Akali Bed, all dropping in short order on the second PI time, and it's only Liver Russian now with combo for Ram Singh up against still both Emrek and White Cat holding on to the FCs. Yeah, it's just a different level of comfort here. Like Frankie, yes, and Fire Rage both finding breaks, but the accuracies overall are much higher, um, especially for overall the side of hmm, as we see a break coming in from Angel Kana. They're just overall higher. They're a lot more comfortable on this map, um, which is just putting it in their favor even more if it wasn't already. But yeah, there's just, as long as White Cat and Emrak are there, there's going to be nothing this Ramsing side can do. And they're pretty much out of time at this point. I think it's funny that Hmm is picking Nomad 1 only because Hard Rock 1 is banned. I think in both of their previous matches, they went for Hard Rock 1 in quarterfinals when it was left up because Nomad 1 was just banned out. Um, similarly, in their other matchup in semifinals here, I think both of those maps got banned out actually. Oh no, they banned out uh, Hard Rock 1 and Nomad 1 in their previous semifinals match. So it's a little interesting that they go for it here. They're able to get 2.6 million team score together, 800k on both Emrek and White Cat. Uh, Lever Russian close to matching, but all the supporting scores right around that 400-450k mark. After double banning it in their last matchup, as well as banning out Hard Rock 1 and Free Mod 1, so just trying to ban out any and all aim maps, they are able to get their first points on Nomad 1 as their first pick, so nicely done there. And now... We go into their second pick, Nomad 4. I think this is one that they're going to be maybe even slightly more comfortable on. They had a fantastic run on this yesterday with 3.3 million team score to their name. Uh, that is a really, really high overall team score. For context, they played that map uh, against Godfield Gaming yesterday. And... Godfield Gaming got about 2 million team score, so this was a win by a, a full million points, which is a really, really one-sided sort of thing. And they've got their same lineup in from yesterday, White Cat, Fiery, Emrek, and Takedo for this map. Yeah, we've also, I don't think we've seen Ramsing pick up this Nomad 4 at all um, in any of their matches so far, so it'll be interesting to see how they're performing on this. Um, Ramsing have been staying as far away from, I think, Nomad 4 as they can, because they don't, I don't think they played it the previous week either, um, in their quarterfinals matchups, so, bit of an unknown, but it definitely doesn't seem like it's a comfort for them. Yeah, it definitely does not seem like a super comfortable pick for 
Ram Singh. I think that's part of the reason why he needs one for this. Not only do they have the Titan Strip, not something that Ram Singh has leaned into at all. Uh, they have typically done not super fantastic on a lot of uh, the, you know, a lot of the more aim control or finger control focused picks. Uh, specifically, the aim control picks like Nomad 3 or Hidden 2, they're not doing super great on. Uh, but this start also for hmm is not the best. You've got the full combo on White Cat, everybody else having broken. Uh, luckily for them, Ram Singh also off to a shaky start on this. Lots of misses across the board for both teams as Red Pixel of Sprawl and Angel Kana all reset once again. You can see exactly what we're talking about with low BPM aim control here, though. All of these really, really tricky stream shapes, the uh, changing spacing, the changing patterning all throughout make this so difficult to be consistent on, so difficult to keep a high combo together on. So the SS coming out of White Cat right now, uh, looks like one miss or one side break from Takedo are both really, really good scores. Fire Rage and Emrek not too far behind. The Kali Bed trying to match for Ram Singh, but uh, you can just see the level of comfort is uh, much higher for him. Yeah, they, they're a very dangerous team on this Nomad. Um, oh, sorry, on this Nomad 4. Um, see, break coming in from Angel, Kana, and... Yeah, Age of Connor actually looking the most, I would say, unstable on this map. Um, Singh's team overall holding good, supporting combos, but it's just not enough. Like you said, to match the side of him. White Cat still holding the SS for his team. Never mind. Um, <laughs> holding the SS does drop it with 100 there, but. Still insane accuracy on the Snowmod 4, and overall, very good team score from him. They are looking at 3 million plus at this point. So, going into this last quarter here, you can see that there's just over 600, nearly 600,000 points in favor of him as we begin to run out of time in this map. It's... There we do finally see a miss from Fiery Rage, another miss from Angel Kana as well, but I mean, this is just gone at this point in him's favor. There's not really anything that Ram Singh can do, despite the high combos from Red Pixel and Sprawl, the other high combo from a Akali Bed. It, it's just not going to be enough. This is far too much from hmm, for a comeback to happen. A and this is kind of what happened yesterday, right? Yesterday it was White Cat with uh, an SS. He, he just SS'd. Um, Fire Rage with zero misses as well on the full combo. And then Emrek with uh, 1250 combo, two miss. And Takino with actually 460k. It's the score improvement from Takedo, up around 900k this time around, plus a double 700k for the other two members on the team that really does a lot of work in getting the score far above that 3 million team score mark now, up around 3.4 million team score this time around. Really, really strong team performance coming out of them. Yeah, and now we're going to go into what I would say is a very interesting next pick from Ram Singh. Uh, we have this Nomad 6, um, which both teams have played in the semi-final, so they played it yesterday. Um, Ram Singh did come out on top uh, by about 200k. So I'm guessing that's the basis for why they're choosing this map. They know that they can get a higher team score. Maybe they feel that they underperform slightly so they, they can get a better score. They have enough buffer room, so they're going to go for it. Yeah, this is this is one of those picks, like you said, it can be kind of a toss-up. We did see both teams get similar team scores yesterday. The average team score for him is lower. I think Ramsing is counting on that a little bit. Or, like you said, saying, hey, maybe we underperformed a bit. We can do better on this. And with a roster like what they have, especially with the very heavy focus on 
uh, speed and finger control that this map has. The Russian Din, a red pixel, and Scrawl is a very good roster to try and make that happen. And Rick, White Cat, Fiery Rage, and Taquito in for this for hmm. I'm actually a little surprised to see Fiery Rage in for this map with you know sort of the abundance of one sixth that are in this pick. Uh, usually he does struggle the higher the BPM. Uh, so we'll see if that is the case here. Uh, looks like he does find a very early miss on some of these other one-third patterns. Variable BPM and variable timing signature in this map, or excuse me, variable uh, rhythm in addition to variable timing signature. So really tough to get the timing right on this sort of map. White Cat and Fiery Rage with the early breaks and accuracy overall in the favor of Ram Singh right now. Looking 99% on Red Pixel. Uh, just looking very, very good. Takedo close behind. White Cat also 98% for both of those players. Uh, so right now it's the combo advantage that is doing wonders for Ram Singh. Liver Russian uh, does drop that combo and White Cat and Fiery Rage have recovered fairly well. So this score lead is going to start to increase in Hoon's favor. Yeah, Scrowell, Fire Rage, and Emrak, in terms of accuracy, do look the most uncomfortable on this. Lever Russian finding another break. Just not going to help his team. Fire Rage went as well, but then we just lost Din. So, combo advantage still in the favor of him. And it doesn't look like it's going to go their way. Because we still have Takito, Emrak, and White Cat on the recovery. Still holding strong for him. I think this is going to go favor of him at this rate yeah I, I mean with all of the combos dropped from Ram Singh what else where else is there for this score lead to go right Emrex still holding on to the full combo it doesn't matter he's got 93% act he's comboing through this and that's that's all you need there fire rage as well higher combo than anybody on the side of Ram Singh able to combo through one of those more difficult sections and Finally, some breaks for both Fiery Rage and Emrak come out, but look at this team score. This is far and away higher than what they were able to put up yesterday. Almost 400,000 score better for hmm, than what they were able to do yesterday on their good run. 2.2 million team score for them. White Cat, Takedo, and Emrak with the pop-off scores, and Fiery Rage bringing up the rear with a high combo at the end of the map as well. Still better than the lower scores on the side of Ram Singh, so a win across the board for hmm. Yeah, so a bit of a a bit of an unperformance from Hmm in their previous matchup yesterday, um, but actually a very I would say a, a fairly similar performance coming out from Ram Singh. It was lower by about a hundred k, hundred twenty k I think. But aside from that, a very similar score from them. So I don't think even if they'd managed to improve it, it still would have been close up against Hmm with that incredible full combo coming out from. Emrak there, um, but DT1, it's a chance for them to get that second point um, and force them to win on their own pick on that free mod 3. Um, and again, it's another one of those toss-ups, both teams getting very similar scores uh, in the previous matches yesterday. Yeah, I mean, so. this is this is that sort of map where you really need to just win it if you are Ramsing, right? Not only is it three to one, so of course it's match point, you really do need to win the map regardless. But uh, if you are if you are Ramsing, you need the confidence boost, right? You just lost one of your own picks that you expected for the most part to go your way, especially you know with. Two of these players playing at 8.30 and 5.30 in the morning, they're still beating you on this map. So you need that extra confidence boost to come from a win on something like this, on one of the double times. Especially as we go into the next set, you know, we introduce those match bands, you get an extra speed map band out against Ram Singh. They need to be able to have some confidence to go into the next set and say, okay, we won at least two of our picks. We know we can pick at least one of these and still be completely fine. Uh, they, they really do want that confidence boost regardless of whether they stay in this uh, set, whether, whether, regardless of whether they stay alive in this set or not. They have Russian Akali Bet, Angel Kana, and Retina uh, starting off here. 
Uh, looks like, uh, looks like we had a real quick abort. So we're getting to get into it in just a second. Emrek, White Cat, Fire Rage, and Taquito in for him. Yeah, so after that could have bought, we stop and go again. Things should be off to a smooth start here. So for Ramsing, a last chance saloon to win their point, keep the set alive. I'm hoping to close it out before anyone has to get to their pick. Because why take the risk when you don't have to, right? <laughs> Early break there coming out from Emrak though. Gonna give a slight lead to Ram Singh, but as long as he can recover, shouldn't be really to any detriment here. You see a break come out from Takedo on the side of him. We've got White Cat and Fiery Ridge still holding on to full combos right now. This is the AR 10.3 aim pick. You usually expect Emrek to be full comboing this. Did find a miss at the very start of the map. Liver Russian also missing for Ram Singh now. The Fire Rage resetting that FC as well. So it's just a trade. And Akali Bed, Retina, Angel Kana all still holding full combos. Emrek as well now slider breaking again. So it is just White Cat holding on for hmm at the moment. And three full combos for Ram Singh. And we were talking a little bit about this before the map, but. Uh, this is kind of what you want to see if you are looking for that confidence boost for Ramsing, right? You want to see your whole team holding these full combos, except for maybe one player at the break. And on the other side, you've just got White Cat holding the FC. The consistency definitely not there on this DC1 pick for him. Yeah, this is not going Hmm's way. You know, some of the... Oh, well-known players, like you mentioned, Emrak and Fire Rage, Takeda as well. Um, you expect them to put up very high scores here, but they, they are struggling to keep the combo. You know, accuracy not really being an issue. Just either do the slider breaks or miss aims. They are just not performing as they should. And we are seeing breaks come out from... We have seen Le Lever Rush and Angel Kana... Uh, Retina also find breaks, but it's just the two full combos. One on the side of Ramsing and the other on him that are deciding this really. It's keeping that score gap where it is. Yeah, it's only really close because of the full combo coming out of White Cat right now. But looking at the supporting scores, I mean, it's pretty clear exactly which team is more comfortable on this pick right now. Uh, Retina with 660k, Angel Kana with 600k, the highest supporting score from Emrek, only the 500k from him on his side, and Akali Bed and White Cat sure are both gonna, okay, well, Akali Bed's gonna miss at the very end of the map, but that's not really gonna impact anything. You've still got too much of a score lead, I think, for this to come back at the very end of the map. Uh, even with the full combo from White Cat, even with an extra break coming out of Retina, it's just not enough. That extra team consistency does wonders for an overall score. And they're able to pull out 3 million team score for Ram Singh on DT1. That is higher than either team scored yesterday, by the way. The best score was actually Hmm's 2.9 million team score yesterday. Uh, in their matchup versus Godfield Gaming, Ram Singh here outscoring either team from yesterday with over 3 million. Nicely done. A very solid performance coming out from Ram Singh. Uh, they'll, they'll be very happy with that, that team performance. Um, they're probably kicking themselves a bit more, even knowing that they didn't quite take that uh, No Mod 6 that they... That was a bit of a, another toss-up map, but, you know, they have got that second point. If they can just pull out a very surprising 3 mod 3 victory here, they could force a tiebreaker and make this first set very interesting. But, hmm, I've picked this for a reason. It's their last pick. They, they knew that they 
it might come to this point, so they're going to be feeling fairly confident on a map like this, which, looking from the team scores from, the pre from yesterday, they are confident on this. Yeah, I mean, this is like... If, if, if Ramsing win this, they are sort of playing out of their minds, right? If you look at the team scores <laughs> from yesterday, it was 2.3 million team score for Ramsing and 3.3 for... Hmm, right. I mean, this is a, a map that, by all measures, should be far more confident on. Uh, they play Hard Rock 3 in both the quarterfinals and semifinals pools. They got 3 million team score on Hard Rock 3 last weekend in quarterfinals, and they win the head-to-head -head this weekend by 400,000 score on Hard Rock 3, which is the precision pick in Hard Rock. That's why I'm comparing it here to Fremont 3, because we are going to see at least one player take that Hard Rock and play CS 6.5 on this map. Um, and even looking at the low approach rate hidden picks, even looking at hidden across the board, uh, hmm, tends to prefer the mod more so than Ram Singh. Uh, they've got pretty solidly consistent hidden scores from the quarterfinals map pool. You know, 3 million team score hidden one, 2.75 million team score hidden three, even 2.6 million team score hidden two. and. They've played Hidden 1 already, win that head-to-head -head matchup by 500k against Ramsing, if you're looking at their scores from yesterday. So I, I think it's just going to be a level of comfort for him hmm, on this map that Ramsing cannot compete with. And it is, uh, you know, looking at the mods across the board, looking at uh, generally what they did yesterday, I, I think they're going to be far and away better at this map. We do already see... An early break coming out of Scrowl on that Nomad Fire Rage and White Cat also on Nomad White Cat finding an early break here in the slow section. Takeda on the hidden, Frankie on hidden Hard Rock for them. Level Russian Hard Rock, Markram on the hidden, and Red Pixel taking Nomad alongside Scrowl for Ramsing. Yeah, interesting for Frankie to pull out the HDHR here. Um, but otherwise, ev everyone else. Are the they the expected mod players? Takito on hidden, Markram also coming in on hidden. Um, very good on the low approach rate for hidden. A very solid hidden player overall. Um, and then of course Lava Russian coming in with the hard rock. Um, but very interesting choice of mods here. We do see Frankie coming in with a break now, um, which favors Ramsing a bit. We're already halfway through the map, and we do see Markram finding a break as well. Takito will follow. Uh, which opens things up a bit for Ramsing here. They have got a bit of a lead, but it is so minor. It's very close at this point because Scrowell's not holding that full combo. Yeah, this is so different from what happened yesterday, though. Uh, yesterday, mm. we saw a very, very high team score for him. But Markham and Leo Russian both breaking does wonders to keep this team score close. White Cat, however, also finding a slider break for him. And now it's Red Pixel and Scrowell holding on to these close to FCs. These high combos on Nomad really doing a lot of work here for the overall team score. Fiery Rage can only do so much by himself trying to carry the team score for hmm, but it's just not going to be enough despite the act on that full combo. The rest of his team is just not there to back him up. Scrowl and Red Pixel with two very high combos and Leva Russian as well on the Hard Rock. One miss. 98% accuracy on that score. They're going to bring it to tiebreaker. And it's not necessarily, you know, a huge out of their minds performance for Ram Singh. They didn't beat the team score from hmm yesterday, but they beat them today. Hmm, I think underperforming on that map a little bit and really giving that one up. You saw Fiery Rage on the full combo. And it just was not quite enough from the rest of the team. And Ram Singh were able to improve their team score by a pretty significant amount. Again, they got 2.3 million yesterday. Well, guess what? Now we got an extra 500k and beat you by 120,000 score. And we're taking you to tiebreaker on a map that honestly tends to favor some of these more stamina-focused players a bit more. Yeah, it's always it's always weird to see this tiebreaker because of the background. It, it, it's like it's looking at you. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is a very intense map. You can already probably tell from the, the, the rhythm that you can hear that it's gonna, it's a very high BPM. It's, it's very stamina intensive, very long map as well, of course, with all tiebreakers. Um, so it will focus a bit more 
on who's got the, the strongest stamina. Um, but again, it's a tiebreak for a reason. This really could go either way at this point. Um, we have seen Ramsing perform on this map. Uh, they got a 1.3 million team score. Um, we've not seen them play this at all. So it'll be interesting to see how their team is feeling. Uh, toss up either way. Yeah, this is going to be uh, a, a little interesting to see. Like you said, we did see Ram Singh play this yesterday. I believe they played it twice in a row, actually, in their uh, previous matchup versus AR7 Slop Dozer this weekend. Also, in the loser's bracket, we saw them... Uh, I don't know, they did, not, they did not have to play it twice in a row yesterday. They did, however, play it uh, versus AR7 Slop Dozer. They got 1.3 million team score on this. It was a collie bed of Red Pixel. They have a Russian and Angel Kana in yesterday. It looks like that's going to be their lineup here as well. Uh, those four are up uh, against Fire Rage, White Cat, Emrek, and Takedo. It looks like Fire Rage actually staying in for this one. Uh, Takedo having a little trouble joining the rest of the players in the lobby. But it's probably it the be... nerves. It's probably the nerves. <laughs> Uh, it should be pretty okay here to see everybody get in. Hidden for Takedo, of course. A hidden one-trick player. A little surprised to see Fiery Rage in. Some of these longer streams at 200 BPM he might have some trouble with. Definitely going to be fine with the spacing. It's the stamina that he does usually have a problem with at this BPM. But so far, doing just fine through the intro. Angel Kana and Liver Russian with a couple early breaks on the side of Ram Singh. That's Kido with that early break for hmm, but otherwise everybody holding strong at the moment. Yeah, I wonder if I was being brought in mainly just as a um, someone with very good nerve control. Um, in in some of these tense situations, some of the newer players can sometimes struggle when they're put under the pressure, and we are seeing a lot of breaks. Unfortunately, on the side of Ramsing here, Angel Kana finding multiple breaks there, and Red Pixel also finding a break. Um, doesn't bode well for the rest of this map. It was quite down. Another break from Red Pixel. Kali Bed and White Cat also find breaks. It's really all up to Lever Russian now. He's not even holding a full combo up against Fiery Rage, Takito, and Emrak with high combos. This is still two full combos for Fiery Rage and Emrak right now. Uh, none of these streams so far have been all that long. They've capped out at around 13 notes or so. So despite some of the high spacing on some of these streams, it hasn't really been an issue. There hasn't been that massive stamina drain that you often see with Mazarin maps. And this map, in general, tends to stay that way. Some of the longer streams do get going here in the second half. And now we're into an aim control one-third section. Lots of cuts in this section where you really need to be in control of both your snap aim and flow aim in order to hold on to the combo. Everybody holding on, it looks like so far, a Kali bet I think missing at the very beginning of the section, uh, but everybody else holding strong through this part. These are some fantastic scores actually coming out of uh, the three high combos so far. Fiery, Emrek, and Leva Russian. It was novel to see somebody break 1,000 combo yesterday, and here we just have three players casually still holding over a thousand combo, two FCs for Emrek and Fiery Rage alone on the side of hmm. And you can see the team score going <laughs> definitely heavily in their favor. Oh. Lever Russian dropping that high combo though, I think just about seals it up. We've got 280k in the favor of hmm. We've got White Cat matching the combo from Red Pixel and uh, those fast sliders getting quite a lot of combos. Uh, but Emrek still holding the FC. This is just about over. Just a question of exactly how far into the map he can combo. Yeah, Emrek looking to put on a, a one-man show here. Um, showing all these other players how to how to play this tiebreaker. Um, Fiery did put in an amazing score until he broke, but... You know... Him not struggling on these streams really put, I think, Ramsing in a bad situation. Um, because, yeah, like you said, he has been known to struggle a bit on these high BPMs. Uh, to keep actually coming in with a good point combo as well. Yeah, can we talk about Emrek, though? Um, 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, he's, he's still going. He's still got the full combo. Okay, he finally drops it, but 2k plus combo on this. 98% accuracy as well. I mean, this is not an easy map. Players have been calling this, like, finals tier difficulty as a tiebreaker. And man comes in and just drops 2k combo, no problem. Like, this is this is by far the hardest map in the pool, to quote Fiery Rage from the cast yesterday. Uh, so this is, this is no small feat, really well played from him. Uh, it's both his and Fiery's really high combos that do a number on the team score. Yeah, you know, Emrak just casually getting pretty much half of Ramsing's total team score on his own. Um, that's, that's that's not bad, is it? It's pretty, pretty decent good. for 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 the hardest map in the pool. Yeah, pretty okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, Fire Rage and Takito both bring in really good scores here. Um, they've actually evened up quite a bit towards the end here. Um, but yeah, just not enough for Ram Singh. They had that big Lava Russian combo build up, but he couldn't carry it on his own. And so, Boom will take this first set. Yeah, I think unluckily for Ram Singh, you know, it was sort of their highest score, their carry player, so to speak, in Lava Russian on that map. It got a similar score to the two low scores from White Cat and Takedo. Uh Fiery Rage and Emrek both outscoring the top player for Ram Singh. Takedo within a thousand score of the top score for Ram Singh. White Cat very, very close as well. Uh, so this is just a difference of like lineup caliber almost, right? These players for whom are just performing far better on this map than what Ram Singh was able to do on the tiebreaker and that bodes very well if we do see another very very close matchup between these two teams i mean w w when you see a matchup that close it, it really oh. is it really is difficult you know to to sort of call a winner but if you if you see the tiebreaker and it's that relatively uh one-sided towards a single team then it, it really does bode well for him going into the next sets i like what you did that it was, uh, it was very subtle thank you very subtle. I liked it. I liked yeah, it. Good. Um, <laughs> so we are going into another set, by the way. This is not the end of the matchup. This is a best of three series between these two teams where each individual set is a best of seven match like what we just watched. Do not go anywhere. Grab yourself a drink. Grab some popcorn. Get yourself something to do in, t in the intermission section here. We're going to be getting into the next band stage shortly, where we're going to introduce the match bands for both of these teams before going back to a second brand new pick band order. Match bands are bands that the teams carry over from the previous set, so each team is going to have to pick one of their bands from the previous set to lock out permanently for the rest of the match. Uh, Hard Rock 1 and Hidden 1 were the bands for Ram Singh, DT3 and Nomad 5 were the bands for hmm, so they're both going to have to pick one of those bands. Looks like it's going to be Hard Rock 1 for Ram Singh. Yeah, Ram Singh going with the Hard Rock 1 match ban isn't a surprise at all. <laughs> they did it in their, in, their last, in their match yesterday. They're doing it again today. They have banned this map every single time. Uh, there's no chance that this map is getting played in this in this set or even in the third set because it's match band <laughs> we also have dt3 coming in um again not really a surprise against this ramsing side um it's just a map best removed from this lineup yeah and not really surprising that nomad 5 is also going to be banned out once again by hmm not also a surprise that Nomad 4 gets banned out by Ram Singh. I think that was one of the more one-sided maps in this matchup so far. 750k is a hell of a score lead on any single map. So it's 
uh, it should be expected that that map gets banned out. Uh, if I'm hmm and I'm looking back at the MP link, I can see Nomad 1 that we won by 550k. You probably go for that one next as well, uh, especially with that Hard Rock 1 ban still in effect. You probably want to pick that one up a second time, right? And that is going to be the first pick for hmm. You don't want to let that get banned out in addition to Nomad 4, Hard Rock 1, right? I think those are your sort of your strongest picks if you are hmm. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's what they know they can do, so lock it in. Um, it's going to be interesting, really, to see what Ramsing go with, especially on their second and third round picks, because that's probably where we're going to see things get mixed up. We see the DT2 come in uh, for Ramsing. Not really a surprise. Uh, it's their solid map. They're definitely going to want to keep that in, because otherwise, hmm, definitely would have banned it if it was still an option. Yeah. Um, I'm, I mean, look at the stats at the bottom of the screen, right? Uh, if you are looking at those stats, free mod uh, should actually be double time and tiebreaker should actually be free mod. Uh, so if you're looking at the double time stats, 7.06 for Ram Singh and 6.71 for Hmm. Uh, those are sort of your average scores out of the possible maximum score. So uh, Ram Singh getting about 70, 71% of the maximum score across all of the double time picks that they have played throughout the entire tournament, right? And that includes picks like double time four, which are not actually speed picks, which is what you usually think about when you think double time, right? There were like 175 BPM alt maps in DT uh, throughout the tournament as well. So it's not like all of these are just speed picks that you're comparing against. It's also those gimmick maps that they've had picked into them instead. So they average on the actual speed picks in DT for Ramsing is a little fantastic. Very, very strong team. Whereas, hmm, uh, you know, a lot of their big scores were actually on some of those DT4 picks as well. So uh, looking at the DT stats there uh, can be a little confusing. You kind of have to look at the context behind them and it's definitely one that favors speed for Ramsing and does not favor the speed for hmm. DT1 getting banned out though, I think makes a lot of sense given how close it was in the last matchup, I'm a little confused actually to see Ram Singh ban it out. They were able to win it, um, so I'm not exactly sure why it's a ban from them. Uh, Hidden one as a ban from hmm, also a, a little odd, I think. Like, uh, this is a team that ha wins that head to head by 500k if you're looking at the scores from the past matches that have already happened this weekend, so. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if those bands are supposed to be reversed or if the teams were considering picking those maps instead or what's going on there. Really, really interesting sorts of bands there, though. Uh, Nomad 2, as a pick for Ram Singh, however, makes quite a lot of sense. They uh, almost three-weighed it yesterday. Very, very strong team on Nomad 2. Yeah, very strong team, but they're also going up against a very strong team. Uh, we didn't see the Nomad 2 played by Hmm, but this this lineup has been known to out to perform very well on uh, Nomad 2s, uh, especially if we look if we think back to the quarterfinals. Uh, I think they got a they did just squeeze out a three million team score um, of in the quarterfinals. Um, Nomad 3 coming out from Hmm as well, a uh, bit of an interesting pick. I think one that definitely favours them. Um, you know, their, their Nomad lineup is very powerful on, on something that doesn't involve speed. Um, bit hard to see Ramsing having a, a clear victory on. Um, so that'll be that'll be a tough match for contention. Yeah, I, I definitely agree, especially with how well Nomad 4 went for, hmm, I think, Nomad 3 as a follow-up pick to that once Nomad 4 is banned out. Definitely makes a lot of sense. Very tricky sort of map. Lots of really tough sliders and uh, changing beat snap divisors in Nomad 3 instead of the uh, pure focus on spacing changes that you see in Nomad 4, but still very similar types of maps overall. We did get confirmation, by the way. Uh, Hidden 1 was banned out by Ramsing. DT1 was banned out by Hmm. So those bans make a lot more sense in that context. 
uh, did win the head-to-head -head matchup on Hidden One, if you're looking at scores from their previous semifinals matchups by about 500k. And of course, Ramsing just beat him on DT1 by about 300k. So uh, definitely bands that make sense now that we've gotten that the order uh, clarified. Hidden three as a next pick for hmm is gonna be an interesting one to watch. I think the low approach rate hidden players for Ram Singh sort of start and end with Markram, right? That is their sole fantastic low approach rate hidden player. And I think that shows in the overall hidden stats for both teams. Ramsing getting about 54% of the maximum score across all of the hidden picks that they have played throughout the tournament. Hmm, getting about 64% of the maximum score on all of the hidden maps that they have played throughout the tournament. You've got some really fantastic hidden reading players on hmm, uh, people like Zudi, people like Frankie, people like White Cat, Okinamo. Emrex is also uh, fairly good at the low approach rate hidden. Fiery Rage is also fairly good at the low approach rate hidden. Uh, Dust Dice, okay. Honestly, like anybody on this team could go in for low approach rate hidden and you'd still have a good roster. Even if they put in their four weakest members, you would still have a good low approach rate hidden roster. Like this team is that good at the low approach rate hidden. Takedo, I didn't even mention, and is still on this team, is probably one of the best low approach rate hidden players and reading players in general in the United States right now, which is to say he's one of the best in the world because uh, we all know how dominant the United States is at OS right now. So very, very strong pick for him. I think Ramsing is going to struggle to put together a roster that can compete with them on that map in particular. Free Mod 2 as a last pick for Ramsing, focusing on the finger control, the tapping, and really a lot of the sort of changing beat snap divisors, similar to what you see in Nomad 6. Yeah, again, I think Ramsing are probably hoping on the fact that they can outperform on that free mod 2, just like they did with the free mod 3 uh, in the previous round. Um, but yeah, like you mentioned, that that hidden 3 lineup is, is just brutal, no matter which way you look at it. Um, so I'm really looking towards that Nomad 3 in this set as the map that Ramsing have got to break uh, Mon if they want to try and take this set uh, and stay in this match. It's going to be very difficult otherwise to get a, a break point and we may go back to the tiebreaker once again. Um, but we, we start off with this Nomad 1, which really you, you just have to you, you almost have to expect him to pick up another a win on this map i don't really see anything changing from the previous set unless they underperform yeah they're they're going to have to pull out a break point on one of these picks honestly because uh that tiebreaker was decidedly favored towards him and uh, when you're already down that set score you need to have some of these break points come through. You know, you don't want to go into a map where you can't pick or ban it. It's just there at the end of a match if you are tied up and you need to overperform compared to what you've already done with not only your life in this match, but your life in the tournament on the line. We are about to get started with our second set, by the way, if you are looking to make a prediction and chat, do it now. It is about to close as we get into the first pick. This is the Nomad 1 first pick coming out of hmm we saw them play this in the first set already uh against ram singh they won it by a pretty considerable 550k margin i don't expect that to change all that much you've got emrek white cat going in on nomad one fiery rage and frankie also probably a little bit more warmed up at this point likely a little bit more comfortable than they were the first time around it is a little uh later in the morning for their players so they should hopefully be performing better and better as the match goes on. Yeah, kind of praying and hoping that that is the case. For their, uh, their tournament victory, hopefully. But we see uh, we see that first break coming in from another Russian. Uh, very early break, though. We also saw Scrobel as well. Um, find one of those early breaks, so not a great start for Ramsing. But we know this isn't a map they're necessarily confident on, um, but hopefully those earlier breaks means that a longer time for recovery. If we hmm, do find some later breaks, this could flip over very quickly, but at the moment, hmm, I've got to retain 
that early score advantage. Yeah, and that early score advantage really isn't going anywhere. Red Pixel struggling to keep the combo together here before the first Ki time. You see Fire Ridge dropping Miss in the first Ki, but again, the combos have been traded already. It's not going to affect all that much. It's only three full combos now instead of four. It's actually two at now with this miss from Emret coming through, so uh, this is... that is more significant, right? Dropping two full combos is a lot of missed score opportunity on Nomad 1. Uh, Retina matching a full combo from either Frankie or White Cat, and then you've got Skrull and Level Russian both holding on to these high combos, so Frankie and White Cat really have to hold on to these FCs if they want to keep the score advantage right now. And in fact, I think the score lead might just be slowly going over towards Ramsing as long as these three combos are held. Likely going to be decided by who can hold on the longest among these full combos and high combos. Gonna get into the second Ki time in a second here. Fire Rage really struggling with the consistency on this, but there goes Retina. Drops the remaining full combo for Ram Singh. Frankie, however, also trades the miss. And it's White Cat versus Leva Russian as Scrowl also drops down. So ever so slight combo lead in the favor of him right now. About 220, 230 combo in their favor. Yeah, because they have that combo advantage, it means that that scoreboard's really not going to pull back. There goes White Cat, though. That is huge to drop here. That's Leva Russian and Red Pixel. Hold it. The big combos for his sides. Yeah, I mean, those are the two carry players down for, hmm. White Cat finding the miss there really does make this far closer. Emrek has combo, but it's not quite enough to match Little Russian, who's ahead of him by about 290 combo or so. Suddenly that combo lead is looking like it might be enough. It's only 70k score in the favor of, hmm, they've got the better supporting scores, but I don't think it's going to be enough. But Lever Russian, however, can't hold on quite long enough. It's not going to be enough from Ram Singh instead. Hmm, able to hold actually all four combos through the end of the map. That big spike in spacing, not enough to break the combos on their side. And... That is what is going to give them the win here at the end. Far less dominant, however, than what we saw in the first set. Emrek and White Cat did not put together those full combos. Luckily, Frankie was able to match their scores. 650, 660k on his score this time around is the saving grace for him. Yeah, I think I think uh, everyone will look at those scores and go, we we got a bit lucky there. Because uh, especially towards that end, when you had the red pixel and the like, Russian scores building up, it was looking dangerous um, for them to drop their first point. Uh, but they do manage to hold on to it. Um, and now we go into this DT2, and again, it should be one of those maps that you'd expect Ramsing to just perform on and expect a, a victory out of them. But if that Nomad 1 is anything to go by, um, Predictions can be wrong, and a clear winner, it's not always its not always obvious when the cards are down. No, it, it's definitely not. We did see this map be relatively close, kind of, sort of, last time around. It was very similar high scores for both teams. You saw a 1300 combo on both Emrek and in, both of them with 750, 760k on their scores, and from there it starts to favor uh, it starts to favor Ram Singh, uh, Lever Russian with 720k, Okinawa with 600k, White Cat with 550k, and Red Pixel with 580k, and then Akali Bet outscoring Takedo by about 250k at the bottom. So those bottom scores really doing a number a more consistent team score was the name of the game for Ram Singh on this map and. You know, they're, they're really not getting outscaled by speed at this point. I think on, on a team where Red Pixel gets the third highest score on Double Time 2, right? You know that this is a very, very good speed team. Uh, this is not a, you know, a team that you want to underestimate going into a map like this. It is going to be the same four-player roster for both teams. Actually, Retina subbing in, it looks like, for a Bed. 
Kali been putting up a respectable 563k last time around, so uh, maybe Retina practicing the pick in solo for a while during the rest of this match and coming in to try and outscore his teammate. Hopefully the decision pays off for Ram Singh. They still won this pick by about 400,000 last time around. So this is a pick that they are definitely favored to win, similar to Nomad 1, what we saw from him. Yeah, definitely. They, they have the advantage. Um, going into this, everyone adjusting well to this map. Uh, not really showing any issues. At the start here, um, slight combo lead for the side of him coming into this, but otherwise everyone holding strong in this first quarter, no issues so far. Yeah, that early break from Din, and honestly a bit of a struggle from Ooh. Din overall, really uh, showing some discomfort with this map. Same for Retina, who is down below 90% on accuracy, I mean that is a big uh, that is a large amount of score. Give it up just due to accuracy, right? White Cat does find a miss, so it is one full combo traded, but there goes Leverushin as well. And now it's really on Red Pixel to hold, but he's unable to do so. We do see the drop from Takedo. It's Retina with the full combo. Despite the low accuracy, doesn't really look shaky at all on this map. Uh, in fact, I think he's overstreaming a little bit on some of these <laughs> patterns. Uh, so Okinamo and Emrek with these higher accuracy full combos really doing a lot of work for them. They're just start to burst late for Retina. It seems like the accuracy overall is really a, an issue for his score right now. I mean, uh, compare Emrek at 98.7, 380k. He's up 120k over Retina's score, so much left on the table with that accuracy that even if he holds on to the full combo throughout the rest of the map, Okinawa and Emrek will need to drop soon for a comeback to be possible because uh, there's just not all that much potential score left up for him to earn. And these full combos from Emrek and, uh, Emrek and Okinawa, excuse me, don't look like they are going anywhere. Uh -oh. There goes Emrek. Yep, <laughs> there's one. <laughs> there's one. Um... <laughs> But there goes Lever Rush and they lost a big supporting combo there on the side of Remsing. One that I don't think they can afford to lose as we go into this last quarter. We do see White Cat drop a big supporting combo as well. But we and there goes lost Retina. Retina. Yeah, there goes Retina. We lost it. So no full combo on the side of Remsing left. And with Okinamo absolutely demolishing this map with his combo and his accuracy as well. He's going to pull the victory in for his team, and they get a break point in this second set. And this is sort of the worst case scenario for Ram Singh, right? We were talking at the start of the match before, or the start of the set after the first set finished with the tiebreaker, right? About how, okay, if you are Ram Singh, you need a break point to come through on these picks. You need to not go to tiebreaker because the tiebreaker that you just played against him was decidedly in their favor. We saw what Emrek can do on that map over 2k combo, uh, by far the highest score in the lobby. So uh, if you're, you know, if you are Ram Singh, you have to look at this and say, okay, we win these next four in a row, guys. We got this. Don't, don't worry. We're going to win these next four because that tiebreaker is something that you don't want to have a repeat of, right? So you need to sort of regather your mental and make sure that you can reasonably, you know, go and pull, go and get good scores on all of these maps. You know, send people out in solo to practice Nomad 3, Hidden 3. Make sure you can take those breakpoints and uh, keep your tried and true speed roster in for Nomad 2 here. Look to take this one by a wide margin, get some confidence back. Yeah, and now they know that they've got a get just a one break point just to actually make it to the tiebreaker again but if they actually want to take the set beforehand which i think is their best option they're gonna to have to take both the nomad three now and the hidden three um as well as their own picks they pretty much just have to win everything from here on out if they want to not have to play that tiebreaker again which doesn't really favor them but this nomad two 
they've put up a good score in it in the past. Uh, they did it yesterday, putting up nearly three million. Um, so they're obviously hoping that hmm, cannot match at least that score. If not, who knows what else this team can put out? But should be very interesting. Um, hmm, definitely no slouches when it comes to no mod twos. They have won maps like this in the quarterfinals and they've done so very confidently so let's see what they can do on this week's no mod 2 yeah i mean looking at the roster for whom i mean this is this is not an easy win for ram Singh, right you still gotta go through mrec frankie okinamo and white cat on a 200 bpm stream map they're not going to have that much of an issue with it so you need to still have players in who can perform Polybed, Red Pixel, Skrull, and Angel Kana definitely will fit that bill. Skrull with a little bit of early trepidations with the map, having a couple of early breaks, some early act issues, but hopefully is able to fix it. Does drop again, actually, at the quarter way mark, so very early score lead, accuracy lead over to him at this point. Uh, hoping that Skrull can recover well going into the rest of this map. The streams in this map, very, very... It looks like he's having huh. some sort of technical issue or something, actually, as he's sort of reset his cursor and uh, is hopefully good for the rest of the map. I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but very clearly not a normal sort of issue. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't start stop playing entirely on uh, a map. So, uh, full combos for everybody else. Still three full combos on the side of Ram Singh. This is still very winnable for them as we move into about the halfway point of this map. Yeah, but halfway through and not a single break on the side of him doesn't bode well for this Ramsing side. Um, it's all eyes really on that side of the board. They need to, if Ramsing want this point, they're going to have to pray very hard for a drop or multiple drops probably from him to recover here we do see one come out from okinamo though and scroll is beginning his recovery yeah but unfortunately i think scroll is still having some issue with the map in general does find another couple of combo breaks it's going to take an extra drop from the side of him for ram Singh to win this and that drop needs to come soon right this is a 218,000 score lead right now. Uh, the accuracy is doing some work for them. White Cat did also break, actually, just after Okinamo. So it's Emrek and Frankie with the full combos for hmm. Angel Kana, Red Pixel, Lakali Bed all still holding on to these FCs. And you can see the score is actually starting to go over towards Ram Singh. If these full combos can hold, if Scrowl can hold as well through the end of the map it might just be barely enough there's so much combo packed into these long streams but scrawl finds the chain miss a collie bed red pixel also missing at the end it's just not quite enough and those full combos for emrek and frankie are damning look at the accuracy six 100s three 100s on those fcs for emrek and frankie uh, just sort of incredible accuracy and that is the high scores that hmm needed to come out on top. I mean, that is almost three full combos still for Ram Singh. Unfortunately, the other team is just as good at no mod 2, and they are unable to make the point happen. It is now 3-0 in hmm's favor. Ram Singh with at least the tiebreaker bout if they want their tournament run to stay alive here in the loser's bracket. Yeah, Scrowell just unfortunate that he obviously had some form of issue uh, going into that map but it didn't present itself early enough for there to be an abort um, so a fortunate situation but it does happen and it's it's part of the game and now the the situation Ramsing are in hmm, I've got the first three points of this match, which means they're guaranteed a tiebreaker. Um, and all they have to do going into the double pick is take one more point. And we end it right here. Two sets to nothing. It's a very dire situation for Ram Singh. 
regardless of uh, whether they get to that tiebreaker or not, it has to start here. Hopefully they've had people out in solo playing this pick ready to go for when it does finally come up. Nomad 3, the tech map in Nomad, lots of really tricky sliders to follow, lots of really difficult finger control and aim control in this map as well. Still a lot of those trademark uh, sorts of cut streams and difficult wiggle streams, variable spacing streams that you see in tech maps all too often these days. Uh, lots of one-thirds as well, changing beat snap divisors that you can hear in the song in between these difficult slidering patterns. So uh, lots of uh, difficulty with, you know, all, all sorts of patterns packed into a short two-minute pick. It has to start here, the comeback for Ram Singh. Let's hope that they can put together a performance on their Kali Bed, Red Pixel, Retina, and Din in for this one. Emrek, Takedo, Fire Ridge, and White Cat for hmm, looking to close it out here in the second set 4-0. Yeah, looking to close it out, and like they're going with what I'd argue a very strong lineup. Um, you know, White Cat and Takito, very strong tech players. Fiery Rage as well will be excellent on this map. Um, of course, Emrak not perhaps known as much for his tech plays, but will definitely is definitely just a solid all-round player. Um, so I'm expecting a very good score coming out from him. Um, and Ram Singh, they're gonna really try and pull this one. Red Pixel, I'm expecting a good score from Retina as well, also has some potential. Um, not too familiar on Akali, Bed, and Din on tech maps. Um, but we will see how they get on with this one. So, so far, slight hack advantage once again for him, but there comes an early break from Takito here. Gonna flip things back the other way. Ramsing will take the lead early on. And this is this kind of what you need if you are Ramsing. Is that early break from Takedo? The accuracy is not doing you any favors. It's 94, 95 percent for three members. Red Pixel, Retina, and Din definitely struggling with that act. 97, 98 percent for three members on hmm, but there goes Fire Rage's combo. Uh, Red Pixel and Din, however, did also drop their combos as well. That is two full combos to two. Make that one now as the Collie Bed finds a slider break of his own. It's just Retina left to stand alone against Emrek and White Cat holding on to these high act full combos for hmm. The Keto does drop that supporting combo, but again, uh, even with all of these drops, and ah, never mind, actually, that was Bancho. So Takedo still <laughs> holding on to this high supporting combo. And this score lead really tells it all, right? 500k already in the favor of hmm, even if we get a a close score here with Retina holding on, and that's not gonna be the case as well. I think that's just about it. Limrek and White Cat able to hold on long enough to secure the point by what is sure to be a million team score plus at the end of the matchup. That is going to be GG well played as Hmm moves on to the finals weekend. Yeah, unfortunately for Ram Singh, their journey in this tournament, it has been amazing to watch, but it has come to an end just short of the finals weekend. Uh, congratulations once again to whom who do advance like you said to the finals weekend uh ram singh unfortunately are going home but a, a very good match a very good performance uh the opportunity to see that tiebreaker was uh phenomenal um good first set from both teams um it just unfortunately didn't go ram singh's way in the second set as they were unable to to really take advantage from that point but that's the sometimes the way it goes yeah it's it's sort of unfortunate they weren't able to come out on top in the tiebreaker in the first set but very clearly 
Mm, with a pretty powerful team performance there. And uh, closing the second set out 4-0 really just shows how well put together this team is. Uh, they were the fifth seed out of qualifiers and are going to be advancing into, at the very least, the top six. So we'll tie fifth six at the very least.